Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's dance. Move your body. Body. I don't know why I am. It's a bit blurry, isn't it? Boop. Don't know why. Let me see. It's not the camera. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oops. <laughs> that was a different start to our lives. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm losing all my shame, people. I have to say, like, <laughs> zero shame anymore. Okay, hi everybody. Hello. Today we're gonna talk about shame, sexuality. We're gonna reawaken the sacred sensuality, the sacred sexuality in us, and we're gonna release all the stuck trauma, all the stuck beliefs. All those unconscious patterns that we hold around sex. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Good morning. Hi, Didi. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Roy. <sighs> okay, people. Welcome. If you're watching live, if you're watching the replay, everything we do here works the same way. And my name is Alessandra Martellini. If you don't know me, welcome to this weekly live healings. Every week we have a different topic. And today is the third part of the series, uh, Healing Yourself Image. We started um, talking about body and weight issues. Then last week we talked about beauty and aging. And today, our hot topic, <laughs> shame and sexuality. So, how am I going to start? Let me think. Hmm. 
we will start. I'm gonna read you something. So I'm going to invite you guys to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. I'm going to read you a story. It's a very short story. It's called The Love Song of Shakti and Shiva. In the beginning was the one. The one was all and everything. And for eons, it, re it reveled in being one, for millennia of, magnif of magnificent unitary bliss. Over the course of unimaginable time, however, the one grew bored. So the one split into two. One part of Shakti, sea of energy, flow and movement, and the other was Shiva, he of consciousness, presence and purpose. As soon as the one became two, they gazed upon each other, fell madly in love, and wanted nothing more than to reunite. They clasped each other passionately and explored all the ways two could merge into one. They entered each other and dissolved the boundaries between them. For millennia, they made love, exquisite erotic love. At long last, they again achieved oneness as they exploded in mutual simultaneous orgasm. In that moment, the entire universe was born. All life sprang into being and is springing still. It was the original Big Bang. How beautiful is the story? Hmm? <sighs> so, I asked you a lot of questions. As usual, if you're new to this, I always, inside my Facebook group, I always ask preparation uh, questions so we can start discussing the themes. It's really bothering me. Do you guys see me blurred? Or is it just me? <laughs> it's really bothering me. <laughs> oh my God. What's happening? I don't know. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Um, so I asked you guys about your relationship with sex, with your sexuality, if you think of yourself as a sexy person, right? All those things. Sexuality is such a ugh, delicate topic, such a taboo still, unfortunately. But, but, oh, Roy is saying that I'm not blurred. Blur, that's good. Just gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. For some people it's blurred. For some is not. Okay. Doesn't matter. You guys, it, this is about you connecting with yourself. I try to be all pretty for you guys, but whatever. <laughs> it's about you connecting with your own sexiness anyway, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to connect you guys. Let's connect. If you're new to this, I'm going to guide you into a meditation that is going to raise our vibration so we can all access this information from the highest and best place is the theta healing meditation okay if you don't if you're not familiar to it theta healing is an energy healing technique is very powerful you're going to experience it today if you haven't before um, everything that i do I need your permission so i'm not going to make any changes unless you want them don't worry okay uh, so this this meditation is going to open your mind up we're going to be able to dig into your subconscious mind, which is what, uh, uh, like where 90% of our patterns, our beliefs, our emotions are stuck anyway. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Ah, okay. I'm being guided to twist it a little bit. So before we do the Theta Healing Meditation, I'm gonna invite you to connect with your pelvic floor. You know that muscle that allows you to hold the pee in? <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna imagine breathing air through this muscle. Like you're breathing air through this part of you, right? 
And as you do, you're going to squeeze this muscle, this Kegel muscle. Squeeze it in and allow the energy to flow upwards. So breathe in the energy from the earth through this pelvic floor. Then squeeze it in and imagine the energy coming from the base of your spine all the way up. It's going to circulate. It's going to be a circular movement. Breathe in through the pelvic floor, squeeze it, let it up. We're going to activate the Kundalini, this serpent, this life force energy, so we can allow this energy to flow through us. Keep doing it. Breathe in through the pelvic floor. Squeeze the Kegel muscles. Allow the energy to flow up and out. The circular motion. You can move your body if you feel like moving your body to help the movement. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Stop for a second, just notice how it feels now. Whatever came, whatever happened inside of you, just take note in your mind, a mind note. And keep breathing. Mm -hmm. This energy is going to start flowing out of you. Through the top of your head in the form of a ball of light this life force energy is flowing through you out of your crown chakra the top of your head in the form of a ball of light you're inside this ball of light safe and protected take a moment to notice the color of this bubble of light and you're gonna start traveling upwards inside this bubble of light through the roof, going up and up, through the atmosphere. <clears throat> You're gonna pass all the lights, all the planets. Keep breathing, keep going upwards. You're gonna pass the galaxies, keep going upwards. You're gonna reach a gold light, okay. You're gonna reach a golden light. all the way further from the universe. There's this golden light. This is the realm of the ascended masters and the angels. Keep going into this light, up into this light. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going upwards. You're gonna reach a jelly-like substance with all the colors of the rainbow. These are the laws of the universe. There are many laws. Law of attraction, law of connection, law of truth, law of magnetism. You're going to reach for a pink mist, which is the law of compassion. You're going to allow this pink mist to surround you in your bubble of light. It's going to guide you through a door, a window, into a bright iridescent white light. Go into this light, keep going up, keep going upwards, into this light. This is what we call the seventh plane of existence. The creator of all that is the life force, the source of this energy. It's pure, unconditional love. Keep going up into this light, this energy of love, until you're going to start feeling the bubble around you dissolve and you become one with this energy. Notice how it feels after activating the Kundalini and connecting you to the Divine. Keep deep breathing. Beautiful. Just notice how it feels. <clears throat> and we're going to start by asking that unconditional love is sent 
to every cell of your body. Just witness. Imagine. You can imagine like a waterfall of bright light. Or however you want to witness it. You may see it in your mind's eye. You may hear it. You may just feel it in your body. Just trust. Whatever comes. Start bringing awareness to whatever feelings that came just from moving this sacred sexuality energy. Okay. Just notice those feelings, those emotions, those beliefs about sex, about sexuality, about being sexy. Just breathe into it. If you want, you can keep activating this energy, this Kundalini energy from the, the pelvic floor. And now, okay, I'm being guided to just start clearing stuff. Oops, sorry about that. So again, with your permission, I'm going to start making changes. So you just say yes out loud. Obviously, I will not hear, but the universe will. So it doesn't matter if you're watching live or watching the replay. This will still work for you. Okay, it's just you're connected to this universal intelligence. Right, you're just directing this energy to clear, you know, the, the beliefs, the traumas. Okay, so let's start with the religious beliefs that we hold about sex. So can we clear from your subconscious mind, from your body, the beliefs that sex is a sin and therefore you're a sinner. And you're going to be punished for liking and enjoying sex. Let's clear all these corrupted associ associations with the word sex. Everything that comes to your mind now, just allow the creator, this energy of love, to transform it. And can the creator, the universe, teach you the highest and, and most beautiful definition of what sex and sexuality is? That story I told you in the beginning. Is this encounter, this connection that opens up this divine energy that connects us with the divine. Mm -hmm. So how can it be bad? We can we clearly believe that sex is a bad thing? Use your breath to allow this energy to be released from your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, for mostly women, but men can be holding on to these beliefs as well, um, can release this belief that you're not supposed to enjoy sex, that you're a slut if you enjoy sex. That is okay for men to enjoy sex, but not for women. We have to hide. We have to be, you know, pure and innocent. <laughs> And that sex is only used as a woman to please the man. Mm -hmm. that, that sex can be a very powerful manipulation tool. It's your choice, of course, but can we teach you a different way? I feel you can feel 
have a fear that if you don't have this tool, your marriage, your relationship is going to crumble. Okay, can we... <laughs> Roy saying, hey, I'm a proud slut. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yes, let's embrace it. My goal for today, people, is that we all, you know, are shameless. Enough suffering from the shame. But let's move on. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this fear that some of you are holding that if you cannot use sex as a manipulation. Ah, uh, okay. It's like sex is your only superpower. It's the only thing that keeps the person with you. Whew, that's a heavy one. Okay. Deeper than this, I feel like the, the belief that is supporting is like there's, you believe that you have nothing to give. You're empty. There is nothing. You're nothing, right? So go into this feeling that you're nothing. You have nothing to give. You're empty. And can we just allow Creator to release this? You may see some images from where it comes from. Just allow it to come. Know you're safe to access this memory without having to relive it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you have a, a split part of you thinks your only uh, purpose, your only superpower is sex. But on the other hand, another part of you is very ashamed of sex, right? <clears throat> so it's like there is this constant battle within you. It's like, I want to use sex, but I want to also like sex. But, but when I like sex, then the shame comes up. Right? Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to go into the shame. What are you ashamed of? Where does the shame come from? And we keep clearing these religious beliefs that says that sex can only be used for uh, reproduction between men, men and wife. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Some of you have this belief that you are Mary Magdalene, that you are the slut, right? That you are the, the, the one that corrupts men. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I see that some of you use this belief. It's unconscious, okay? So just try to access this in your unconscious mind. But some of you use this belief as the source of your power. So can we keep the power without keeping the belief? Can we teach you how to access this power? The power in being a sexual being, a sensual being, without having to believe that you're a slut, you're a whore, you're a sinner, you're an outcast, just let it go. <sighs> Keep breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For some of you, this talk brings a lot of uncomfort, a lot of discomfort, right? So just lean into this discomfort. What are you uncomfortable about? Can we clear the belief that you are dirty? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. <sighs> okay. What is sexuality to you? I want this answer to come to you. What do you associate with sexuality? Hmm, interesting. A lot of you associate it with this, uh, with your energy being sucked. It's like you're leaking energy right you got this release instead of this nourishment mm -hmm. so can we teach you how to use sex and this not necessarily sex but this this sexual energy that lies within you as a fuel as a reconnection to this life force you can be you can direct the sexual energy into everything is the energy of creation of the birth of ideas of projects not just sex mm -hmm. okay Okay, can we clear the shame around sex and being a sexual being? And for women, this the shame of being a woman. Okay. Oh, can we clear the clear the fear of sex? It can come from memories of abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, I can also clear the belief that um, you lose control. Is it a fear of losing control when you're, you're having sex, when you're using this energy? Mm -hmm. So go into like why why do you fear you're going to lose control? What's going to happen if you lose control? For a lot of you, it's like the fear of being vulnerable, of being seen, right? It's like the ultimate surrender. And surrendering can be hard. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, can we clear the fear that if you surrender fully, you're going to lose control and you're going to be seen and the person is not going to like what they see. Mm -hmm. And can we also clear the belief that the only way of you to control people is through sex and through self-controlling through sex, if that makes sense. It's like you're always controlling yourself with this energy, with this sexual sexual energy, so the person is not gonna control you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we also clear the belief? Um, that men just want you for sex if you're a man and if you're, if you're a man you can change women just use you for sex can we clear the belief that desire and pleasure are evil oh some of you have the belief that pleasure is pain so in any way they are associating pleasure with pain can we clear that 
show the distinction. You can make the choice, the conscious choice, to use pain as pleasure, but not from a place of trauma. Can we also clear the belief that pleasure is witchcraft and should be feared? Can we clear the belief that if you enjoy sex, men or women will control you? Can we clear the belief that love is a weakness? Use your breath. Can we clear the belief that love is painful and that women are sexual objects? Uh, can we clear the belief that being a woman is a weakness? Take a deep breath in, keep this energy flowing. Uh huh. Can we clear the guilt that you associate with having sex? And for some of you, it's connected to abuse. So it's like everything related to sex brings back the memory of abuse and brings back the shame and the guilt because a lot of, of people that suffered abuse, they feel guilty, right? We shame the victim, right? So can we just clear this from your subconscious mind? Interesting. Um, okay. Some of you are very disconnected from your body. So it's like it's this inability to fully feel pleasure. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to invite you to just move your body a little bit. Just move it like a wave if you want. If you want to stand up, move your body. Just start feeling your body. Can you feel your, your body at all? Mm. Some of you are cut, like there's this disconnection around, for some of you is on, around the, the heart chakra, around the heart, and some of you in the solar plexus around the, the, the stomach area. There's this split, so the energy cannot flow from the bottom, from the base chakra, from the pelvic floor, up through you. It's, it, it can go, it, there's just split, right? Let me see, enjoy. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, there is this disconnection with your feelings. So just bring your awareness to your stomach, to your solar plexus. If you want, you can massage it. Move your hands clockwise on this area and imagine it opening up. You can imagine uh, a yellow color, a yellow light being brought into it. Open it up. Okay, can we clear the belief that you're weak? That feelings are a weakness? In any way that you're trying to protect yourself by, by, by suppressing and rejecting your feelings, can we teach you you're safe? To embrace them, integrate them, without having them control you. You clear the fear that your feelings will control you. You're gonna lose control to your feelings. You're gonna lose control to your desires. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go to your heart chakra, you can imagine a green light, opening it up, mm -hmm. just allow the creator, that bright iridescent white light, to open your heart, to release all the hurt, all the grief, all the sadness. Uh -huh. In any way that you lost love and therefore you believe that you're never going to have love again, 
Can we clear this trauma? Okay. Can we reestablish the connections between your chakras from the base of your spine? Let's do that again. Let's imagine uh, energy coming from the earth through the pelvic floor, like you're sucking energy from the earth. And then you squeeze your Kegel muscles, and this energy will flow up through you in a circular motion. Breathe in, squeeze it, allow the energy to flow up. Uh huh. This is the Kundalini energy. It's gonna flow all the way up through you and down, through you, up, aligning all your chakras. Allow this energy to remove any blocks in your chakras. Use your breath. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it. Allow any energies that need to come to come. Any, oh, any stuck feelings. Fears, shame, there's a lot. Knowing that you're safe, I'm here, the creator is here. You're connected to the universe, to the earth. <sighs> Just allow this energy to be activated. And as you do it, keep doing it. I'll give you some downloads, some energetic, energetic consciousness. Can we show you how to fully integrate this sexual energy as an expression of divine energy. That sex is the deepest expression of the power of creation and how to create this energy within you. You have it within you. Ah, okay, some of you are like, you can get it, but you're not fully owning it. So can we show you and give you the permission that you need to reclaim it, reclaim the sensuality, the sexuality, the sexual power. And then you can use it however you want for sex, the actual act of sex or for creation of any kind. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of you are like, you're, you keep sex as a separate thing, like your relationship with sex is like a little bit rocky. <laughs> so let me see. Keep doing that, keep breathing though, as I connect with this. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, in any way that you were shamed for seeing yourself as a sexual being, for exploring yourself. It comes a lot from childhood, when we're about four to six years old, we start exploring our bodies and a lot of our parents don't know how to deal with it and they shame us, right? It's natural, but it becomes the shame. So it's like deep down we associate it, like, oh, it's wrong. It's wrong to tell to myself, it's wrong to play, it's wrong to explore. And then you don't know how to pleasure, like to enjoy pleasure. Right? Because it's wrong. There's always going to be this voice in your head saying, oh no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, right? So you're not going to fully embrace pleasure and desire, right? So can we just clear this trauma of whatever happened to you that taught you that pleasure and exploration, physical exploration and non-physical exploration is sinful, it's shameful. You should be guilty. It's wrong. You shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Let's recreate that, that scene. Whatever happened to you, um, 
imagine that scene being recreated and whoever told you those things, imagine them saying something else, saying, oh yes, that's good, they're exploring it. It's healthy to explore yourself, we're different, men and women are different, and it's okay. Imagine this person um, igniting your curiosity instead of shaming you. Recreate this in your mind. Imagine them treating this exploration as something natural, which it is. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Okay, um, can we teach you how to see the sexual energy, sexuality as sacred and divine? Let's activate this within you. Okay, let's, interesting, I'm being guided to activate it within, within your pineal gland. So inside your brain, right in the middle, there's a gland called the pineal gland. Within this pineal gland, there's a master cell, which is like the, the control of every other cell. Right, so we're going to change this cell and everything else is going to be changed within your body as well. So just imagine, we're going to change some genetic programmings. Let me see. Okay, from your ancestors, the genetic line, can we just clear all the shame, all the abuse, and all the ways that we were repressed sexually through all the ages? That we disconnected from the divine. Mm -hmm. That we see sex as a weakness, as something to be suppressed, or desires to be suppressed. Just allow the energy of Creator to make this change within your pineal gland. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you're having like this, you're carrying this gene of shame. It's like shame is just the natural state of you and your family. So can we change that? <laughs> Let's change this gene of shame and transform it into shamelessness. <laughs> if you want, of course. <laughs> you can change it to whatever you want. Let's change it to like embracing yourself, being comfortable with everything that makes you, you, all parts of you. Mm -hmm. Can we reawaken this divine sexuality, this sacred sexuality within you, within your pineal gland, this sacred ancient, ancient wisdom that you have, that you disconnected from? Just witness it, you may see it, feel it, sense it. Just allow it to happen, don't force it. If shame comes up, breathe into the shame. Allow this life force to transform it, to integrate it within you and update it to something better. Mm -hmm. Can you just clear all the traumas that you're carrying from your ancestors around sex, sexuality, being sexy, being seen as a sexy person, sexy woman, sexy man? Can you clear the belief that it's dangerous to be sexy? That people will take advantage of you, will abuse you, will only see you as a sexual being, nothing else. Can we just teach you instead how to use this energy to activate everything else that you are? It's, it's like, imagine this energy magnifying all your other qualities. If you're creative, imagine 
your creativity being ignited and being magnified by this sensual energy. By this life force, by this power of creation. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we activate within you both the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine, right? We have both, right? So just allow the creator to activate within your pineal gland and it's going to be downloaded into every cell of your body. Just focus on the pineal gland, the master cell. activating, rem remembering, just reminding you what is the sacred feminine, what is the sacred masculine. Not the toxic masculinity that we're surrounded by, not this uh, forceful feminism that we're surrounded. That's not sacred. Allow creator to show you what is sacred. And to balance these two polar energies within you. You have both. You need both. One of them, of course, is going to be more enhanced within you. But you have both. <sighs> okay. Take a deep breath in. Again, allow this energy to flow through you. Bring your awareness back into the bright iridescent white light, that unconditional love, the life force energy. Allow it to shower over you like a waterfall of bright light if you want. All the way down. And as it touches the floor, the earth, it activates the mother earth energy. And this energy is going to come through you. Again, through your pelvic floor. Aligning your chakras. And this energy is masculine the earth the, the sky and the feminine earth will be blended within you you're always connected with both father sky mother earth the life force and you can activate it within you anytime you want without shame without guilt, without fear. Because that's how you were created. You're just tapping into this energy of creation, of your own creation. Beautiful. Just reconnecting all these energies within you, reconnecting with your body, really feeling these energies within every single cell of your body, every organ, every system. Imagine those cells, like the cells of your body just lighting up with this energy. And when you're ready, you can come back, open your eyes. Tell me how you guys doing. Let me know. Could you feel it? This exercise of like activating your Kegel muscles, it's so good to do every day. I forget sometimes, <laughs> but <laughs> if you wake up, I'm not a morning person. So I wake up like, oh my God, who am I? <laughs> so every time I do this, like, bringing energy back into my body you know it's like my soul comes back into my body 
So just imagine, just do this. Imagine energy coming through the pelvic floor. You squeeze it, just let it flow through you, out of you, through you, out of you. So it's just reawakening this kundalini energy, right? It's a very easy exercise. It can bring stuff up, as every do, everything does. <laughs> but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> to clear stuff. <sighs> How are you guys feeling? How did you feel doing this meditation? Rhonda saying, felt my third eye pain. Love the breathing. Pain or open? Love the breathing. Felt hot and bit nausea. Massaged hands during breathing. Okay, yeah. It's bringing stuff up. Right? That's normal. Just keep breathing into it and then connect with it. You know, connect with the nausea. Like, why? It can bring some um, memories up from this lifetime, other lifetimes, ancestors, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm, but, yeah. I like that you message your hands. It really kind of it helps bringing, uh, grounding us, right? When we're massaging hands, massaging our bodies, when we're doing those things. Mm hmm when we do, do this pineal gland activations, it really opens the third eye, right? Okay, okay, because it was opening the third eye, right? When we, the pineal gland is like the, in the intersection of the crown chakra and the third eye. So the third eye is like the, the clairvoyance, is the seeing beyond what's visible to the eyes. And this is the prophetic sense, it's just the knowing, the connection with the divine. So we're activating these two chakras at the same time. It's powerful. <laughs> Roy saying that it was awesome, genuine, real, simple, yet profound. A beautiful offering to the world. Thanks again. Gotta go get me some love. No. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Yeah. It's a very interesting energy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Sandy saying beautiful. Good. Yeah, I think we all need to, you know, reconnect with the sacredness of being human in all its forms, you know, because it's so, uh, we, a lot of spiritual people say we need to overcome being human. That's bullshit. It's through being human that we become spiritual. It's not like I'm not going to eat anymore. I'm not going to have sex anymore. No. No, if that was the goal, it will, it will, we wouldn't be here in the first place. We wouldn't. We're here to experience being human, having a body, having the physical experience of touch, of all the senses, because this will bring us back and closer to the divine. Everything is divine. Everything is divine, right? We're saying, interesting, this opens creativity. It definitely does. Divine creativity. Yes, beautiful. Love it. We're on the same. Thank you for your beautiful presence. Thank you, my dear. Debbie's saying, few tears, but not as many as I normally do. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Felt energy flow through me via, via shivers. Oh, cool. Tingling in third eye. Colors I saw was purple and magenta. Cool. We're saying, I love your authenticity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It took me a while to get here. <laughs> I did a lot of healing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So funny. Rhonda saying, love the idea that sexuality um, is the energy of creation. Creativity in other areas of our lives. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, what are you saying, Radek? Like IT? What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Beautiful people. That was interesting. <laughs> so as usual, if you need me, if you need my help going deeper into those, those beliefs, those things that came up, please tell me. We can either book a session. I've been doing also intuitive readings. Some of you already got them. And it's been very interesting. It's delivered by audio. So if you, if you need some clarity, some guidance on a specific situation, specific thing, you can send me a question and I'll send you this audio where I channel this message 
for you. It's like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I'm gonna add the link to the description of the video so you can book if you want or you can book a, a Theta Healing session where we can do it on Zoom and really get into the deep stuff. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, other than that, I will see you next week on our lives. Um, I think, I'm thinking that next week we're gonna talk about uh, reconnecting to our emotions and opening the heart chakra let me know if you if you want this i think it could be a good complement to this this uh topic of today right so we can talk about that next week okay have a beautiful day have a beautiful week and i see